So yeah, I guess we're trying out the Knight today, and the Knight has plus 2 melee damage for every one armor you have, so I currently have plus 12 melee damage, plus 5 armor, you can't equip weapons, um, you can't equip ranged weapons, I mean to say, and you can only equip uh, tier 2 weapons are above, and attack speed modifications are reduced by 50%, and harvesting modifications are reduced by 80%, so that's gonna be fun to deal with. And this is our current set, so we got a lemonade, a coupon, a spear, a thief dagger, a pruner, and a circular saw, which has a 45% uh, lifesteal, so I think that's the melee version of the medical, gu medical gun. But can't thaw today for some reason. Must be allergies. Hmm. But hey, at least we should be completing Wave 4 Light 2, and we get two traits. And let's take the bad. We start with the metal, and take some more armor, which also gives us plus two melee damage, so that's nice. And let's take some more regen, because I don't have any. So let's take the snake, in case we uh, get anything like the scared sausages or the torches. The thief dagger too, the landmines, save these sunglasses, free roll. Hmm, nothing here that I want. Although I suppose, actually, you know what? Let's uh, save the pity bang for later and move on to A5. So, yeah. Welcome to A5. And I think it's uh, just business as usual. Especially since you're doing so much damage at uh, pace speed. But still, mainly damage for every one armor that you have. So, I think we might uh, try and find as much armor as possible. Any top. I wonder how high we can get that stat uh, as a knight, anyways. And that's way five completed, and let's take some more armor. Which should have given us plus four melee damage, which it did. So let's take the pity bane, the sunglasses, save the circuit you saw for later. Hmm. And you know what? Let's save the uh, hatchet for later. Two. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Let's just move on to A6. Welcome to A6. And we're doing so much damage. I think I found one for over 80. On a crit. Which is nice. I think I might want to try working on my uh, crit stat uh, now. Even without the uh, hunting trophy. Or the tentacles. Although if I uh, do find either of those items. Uh, I guess uh, that would be nice. And we should be completing waves it's like so. And let's take some more luck because we have none. So let's take the circular saw, the incinerate turret, and the beanie. And now I'm broke. On to wave seven. Welcome to wave seven. And these are 58. Mm. Another 58. Yeah, I need to uh, raise my crit chance. And there's a 60. And an 88. In there. If I'm uh, not reading those wrong. Let me know if I am reading that wrong. In the comments below. And that's why 7 completed. And let's take some more armor. Which brings us up to 23 melee damage. And some more crit chance. Which is now at 20%. Hmm. Let's just take the star, re-roll. And re-roll again. Take the beanie, the propeller hat, the... Take the star, oh, the thief dagger too, I should say. Not the star. Re-roll, and save the landmines. Line with the spear. On to a bait. On to a bait. And it's these guys, which die pretty quickly, so that's nice. Though I suppose I could stand to see them die a bit quicker. Oh well. And hey, it's a walking crate, so let's see if we can, uh... Get that, and we did, so that's nice. Especially when you consider that we have a bag, which gives plus 15 materials. Although I suppose I could uh, stand to use a few more bags. And that's wave 8 completed, and let's see the Cyclops Worm. 
And some iron luck. And a spear. The thief died or two. The landmines. Reroll. And see the Tyler. And let's hit the reroll button again. Save the mastery for later. And move on to wave 9. Yeah. I suppose the mastery is useful for this boat because it's melee damage. Pretty much, uh, pure melee. And so that makes the mastery useful because we plus it melee damage. I don't care about range damage it's build. So yeah. And that's a nine completed. And let's see that could be chameleon. And take some more dodge. And some more. Uh, let's see, crit chance. And the mastery, the Tyler. We roll. Hmm. I guess we can take the propeller hat. We roll. Take the blindfold. We roll. Take the lumberjack shirt. And the wings. And uh, take the pruner too. On to wave 10. And yeah. And now we're doing 150 damage. Which is uh, nice. I wonder how well we fare about against the boss, so... And that's why it's completed. And hey, if you made it this far, why not uh, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of content. And let me know uh, what you think about the video. And if you have to ask if the comment is mean and or rude to make, the answer is always yes. So anyways, let's recycle the uh, energy. Actually, you know what? Let's just take it. And let's see some more melee damage. Plus eight melee damage, which uh, sounds rather nice. And let's take the wings and steam like a bee. Or, uh, however that phrase went. Let's just re-roll. After we take the gentle alien. Take the dangerous bunny. Re-roll. Save the spear three for later. Along with the energy bracelet for more crit chance. And he searched your saw. On to wave 11. And oh yeah, it's these guys. And I just wasted that landmine, so don't do what I did. And now we're uh, credit for 174. I think I want more crit chance or hunting trophies. I wonder if the hunting trophies would synergize with the thief daggers. I mean, they probably would. And just give you more materials for uh, kill with crit chance. Although I think I might have to have uh, someone explain it in the comments below that would know more about that topic uh, than I would. And that's wave 11 completed. And let's take the crown. We cycle the peaceful bee. Take the range. And the crit chance. Which is, which is now at 43, so let's take the circular saw. The spear 3. The energy bracelet. The medical turret. We roll and save the Tyler for later and move on to A12. Welcome to A12. And there's a uh, 220 crit chance. All crit. Which is nice. And I think that's a spear. Yeah. It is a spear. It does that much damage. Hmm. Spear's only as a knight. I wonder how, uh, I could get that, uh, melee damage in that run. Oh well, that's a future run idea. And that's a 12 completed. And then stay the incendiary turret without question, because more damage is always a good thing. And let's take some more armor, which brings us up to 41 melee damage, which is nice. Let's take this, uh, circular saw too. The Tyler, save the blindfold, and re-roll. And you know what, let's uh, save the Wandering Bot for later. And let's move on to a 13. And, uh, yep, that's a 228 uh, damage, so that's nice. I think I might want some more spears. Hmm. Or just maybe more circular saw since uh, they give, uh, but doing present lifesteal. Right now, so that's nice. 
And oh yeah, if the Viking helmet dies, it starts showing up and promptly die. Which is, uh, nice for me. Ow. But hey, at least we survived right 13, so let's take a plastic explosive for more explosion size. Hmm. Combine these two circular saws for a circular saw 4, which is, uh, 80 per- Actually, 60% lifesteal. And let's take the spear 3. And the blindfold, the wandering bot. We roll. Save the star for later. And let's move on to wave 14. Welcome to wave 14. And yep, I guess the DPS is coming along nicely so far. And I suppose it can always be higher. But that's always a constant issue in these, uh, games. And that's wave 14 completed. And let's take some more mass H. Some more melee damage, I should say. Hmm. I would like to get rid of for a torch. Apparently nothing. So let's take the star, re-roll. The scared sausage, which has finally shown up. So that's nice. So, let's re-roll. Take the Tyler. Re-roll. And now I'm broke. On to A15. Welcome to A15. And, uh, yep. Business as usual. We this late into the run, so that's, uh, nice. And that's A15 completed. Let's take the melee damage. And I suppose a gentle alien. Reroll. Take the Cyclops Swarm again for more damage, which is now at uh, 30%. Reroll. Take the Snake. And the Incendiary Turret. And move on to A16 because I'm now broke. I suppose I should have uh, saved uh, some more for you. Just for the Piggy Bank. The. Uh, yeah, I guess the materials don't disappear at the start of the wave like it does for the, uh, Entrepreneur. I think, uh, that's the character that has that debuff. Let me know, know if I'm wrong on that one. Right, that's wave 16 completed. And let's take the claw tree this time around. And take some more range. Take the cape, even though it takes too many damage. But it gives, uh, I think, uh, plus 5 life stealing, plus 20 dodge, which is nice. Let's just reroll, save the sunglasses, and uh, this scene right here, and move on to wave 17. And yeah, I guess the enemies are still being deleted. Even though I think, uh, it can be done at a faster rate. And that's why 17 completed. And let's take some more armor. Which is more melee damage. And let's take the sunglasses for more quick chance, which is, uh, at 65%. And whatever this scene is. Whose name I cannot pronounce. But I guess it's, uh, the Rip Posey? I think. Let's just re-roll. Take the dart in. And I suppose save the... Well, save the nothing and just move on to wave 18. Welcome to wave 18. I guess I haven't really been using the piggy bank uh, for its uh, effect uh, so far. And I think that's a bit of an issue with me. Right, that's uh, wave 18 completed. Let's take the campfire. And some more speed. And the incendiary turret and the snake. And the thief badger too. Hmm. Save the bean teacher for later and just move on. Welcome to wave 19. I guess in, uh, next wave is the boss wave, so that's. And despite the best attempts at gaming killing us, we managed to survive. And we get a mastery. 
So let's just take that one from our melee damage. Let's let's also take uh, the more melee damage. I guess I didn't need to save the Bean Teacher after all. So let's take the coupon, the Dangerous Bunny, re-roll. Take the glasses, re-roll. And again. Take the robot arm from our armor, which uh, gives plus 6 armor, which should give plus 12 melee damage. And now that's up to 79 uh, melee damage. Let's take the turret. And just move on to a 20. I hope I can win this uh, wave. Alright, the boss is over here, and it's this one. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun to deal with. But at least we should be dealing with uh, plenty of grits uh, to the boss. And yeah, look at that uh, elf bar disappear. I suppose I should have gotten more armor. Oh well. No use worrying about the what if. And just uh, worry about the, uh, what do we do now? The... And the boss is already down to half health, and there's the first mutation. And that's gonna be fun to dodge. But I seem to be doing a good job of it so far. Ow! Is it right then? And the boss is almost dead, so yeah. Ow. I don't think I was even the boss that did that damage. That was one of those with biking helmet guys. Ow. And we run the won the run! So that's nice. And we did a plasma sledgehammer. Which uh, has a 25% chance to explode on hit, so that's gonna be fun to play around with, so yeah. Anyways, if you've uh, made it this far and want to support the channel further, there's always the Ko-Fi link uh, this, uh, in the description below, where you can support the channel for like a dollar, which is always appreciated, along with some Amazon affiliate links if you want to uh, copy my setup for whatever reason, so yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next one later on today, so stay tuned for that one. Bye!